Hi, Courtney, and this is Simon from The Trained Ferret, and I wanted to answer a question I get a lot, and that is, what do you feed your ferret, Simon? So keep in mind that Simon is a rather large ferret, and that is partially due to what he eats, but it's also partly due to his genetics and the fact that he was chemically castrated at one year old. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and put him up and go ahead and get the food out and show you what he eats. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. All right, so I just want to share what I feed Simon. This is not me trying to tell you what you should feed. I am not a nutritionist. I am just somebody that really researched the food that I, I feed my pet. And I'm not trying to start like any kind of debates. You know how it is. Like, I'm just trying to share because so many people have asked me what I feed. So here we go. Meat mates. That is something that I use for Simon. It is a freeze dried raw food. Let me open this and show you what they look like. They're just little pieces like this. And I get the lamb. I also get the beef. I can show you that one. He prefers the lamb to the beef <laughs> for whatever reason. So that is one food I feed. Keep in mind, if you feed freeze-dried raw, please make sure your ferret has access to a lot of water or if you want to rehydrate the food, you just need to make sure they're getting ample water when they're eating something like that. The next thing I feed is small batch cat food. It is a freeze, I'm not freeze, it is a um, raw grind. So this is in the freezer section. It is, let me just open it and show you. Looks like this. So I'll just pull one out thaw it out a little bit, cut it up in pieces on a little paper plate and give it to Simon. He seems to enjoy these. So like I said, I have the lamb. Small Batch seems to be a pretty ethical company. I wrote to them and asked them about their ratio and they told me that the ratio is 80% meat to 10% bone and 10% organ, which is what I hear to be what ferrets need. He also has the rabbit sliders and they do have several proteins. I'm not sure how available this food is to everyone. It is in my local pet store, but you would need to research to see if that one is in your area. The other thing I feed is mice. A lot of you know that. I get them, let me turn this around. So it's a little bag of mice. I order from the Big Cheese Rodent Factory and the reason is because of the smaller quantities and the bags they give. So I can get a small sealed bag of just 50 and that's good because I can just open one bag at a time and I don't have to worry about the freezer burn and all that stuff as quickly because it's in a smaller amount. Um, so I prefer ordering from there. I rotate the mice and the small batch. So I'll kind of alternate days. And then most days he has access to the meat mates. That way he's getting a variety of things. That's how I like it. Um, what was I gonna say about this? Oh, people ask me, how do you get Simon to eat mice? Well, the breeder started him on the mice so I didn't have to do anything. So I've never had a ferret where I've had to teach them how to eat mice. They just know. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure how to start them on that. Let's see. I do feed for emergency reasons. I will make sure that Simon eats a kibble. Um, he doesn't get it all the time, but I will give it to him enough to where I know he will eat it. And the one that I use is Dr. Elsie's Queen Protein Chicken. There was a reason I did not choose the other proteins. I can't remember offhand what it is. Might be that the other proteins included peas. I'll have to look that up. But this is a huge bag. 
I ordered the huge bag because it was on sale or something. Usually I get the tiny one, but this is the one that I use for him. I used to include another kibble, but that kibble changed and I don't like the changes. So I threw that one out and um, now he is just getting this as the kibble option. Um, so let's move on to what I feed for treats. I say it like this because when I say treat, I just mean something that motivates him to do his training and they're all healthy. They're all good options for him. I think some people get confused and think treat must mean like junk food or something and that's not true. So I feed him freeze dried duck cart. So let me take it out. I buy these at my local pet store. This is only half of one. I need to buy more. I'll just take it, chop it up in little pieces and give him that as a draining treat. I, I think these are like less than a dollar a piece. I also use Stella and Chewy's freeze dried raw. I think this is Tum Tickling Turkey or something. I'll put the image of the bag. I don't have the actual bag. But he likes this for training purposes as well. And most of you know I use salmon oil. Salmon oil, this is Iceland Pure. I always, always write the date that I open the bottle on the side. Because salmon oil will only stay good for like three months. And it's important to know that and to keep up with it because it will go bad and smell. You don't want to give your ferret that. And ferrets shouldn't have a lot of salmon oil. I give Simon a teeny little drop when I'm training him and I only use it a couple times a week. The Pampered Ferret also sells salmon oil in a little bottle, which is perfect. So this little bottle helps because you can use it and not have to worry about wasting all of that that you're not going to use because you shouldn't be at least with one or two ferrets you're not going to get through this if you have a whole bunch you might but um i like the size of this and and simon likes this kind also um sorry my throat's really dry <clears throat> the other thing i use for training <laughs> is meat mates <laughs> You can use what your ferret normally eats as a food for training as well. Um, I know it is frustrating. People ask me all the time, how do you get your ferret to eat treats? Sometimes you have to make them try things. Hopefully I can do a video on how I got Simon to like salmon oil because he didn't at first. So that's what I feed, I hope you've enjoyed this and you've learned something again like i am not a nutritional expert so please don't say is this okay to feed or i want to do raw how do i do it there is a youtube channel potsu and friends that i'll share that helps and has a lot of nutrition information on raw feeding um i know some people don't want to buy you know this kind of stuff they'd rather like go to the butcher and buy stuff that way and figure out all the ratios and that's great. I'm just not that person. I don't have interest in that or time and I think it's great, but I don't, I'm not your person to ask questions for that. Um, so please, whatever you feed, do your research, make sure it is healthy, make sure it is meat-based because a lot of these foods are trying to get a higher protein rate by throwing peas and things in there, which are not good. You wanna look at those first ingredients and make sure they are meat and not like corn, wheat, all kinds of stuff like that. So, all right, that is it for now. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.